Hey guys, Terrapup here, and I'm going to be shooting this video with my camera. The equipment here is a little bit too low, and plus this is huge. I'm putting together the uh, ITX um, Super 6C. This is the board itself. It's very beautiful. As you can see, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six CM4s. I'm going to try first to use uh, banana pies. Okay. Real quick, look at the IOs. So we have power, two 1 gig Ethernets, two HDMI. We have a micro USB adapter, LED lights, and two USB 2 ports. There are all kind of connectors on the board, but we can get to that later. And this will be the connectors that work with the case. And then the other underside, we have SD slots for each uh, CM4. And one, two, three, four, five, six NVMe M slot or M key um, storage. Okay. And like I said, we're going to be putting it into this case. I wanted to pull this out. Now, the board itself comes with a nice power supply. Okay which I was kind of worried about. So I'll pull this out real quick and we'll take a look at it. All right, this is the case itself and we are going to remove this paper because there's acrylic. This is the front. Now one of the things I noticed that's kind of cool, and this is going to be great for that T1 uh, case that I've shown a short video on. I'll put a link above. But this is telling me that it has connectors that I can put it into the case which is cool. On the back side where our HDMI are, our Ethernet, our power, and I guess these are for antenna, and then there's our LEDs. Okay, so I'm going to put my camera into a uh, holder and we will film me taking the paper off and unscrewing this. Okay, so I got the top off and I got to tear more paper, but I want to take a second to kind of show some of the hardware that comes with it. This is empty, and that's empty. That's for padding. But there's a screwdriver. There's some thermal pads in here. And there are heat sinks um, I was reading I think it comes with six heat sinks I see two bags so it comes with four heat sinks and these are aluminum okay so that's kind of cool And for my little project, that's going to be awesome because um, my goal is either to get two Raspberry Pi 4s working or four 2 and 2 being two Raspberry 2 Banana Pies. So yeah, it comes with four heat sinks. For some odd reason, I thought it came with six. 
It's still pretty cool. Unless this is the other. Yep. It does come with six. Okay. So this is the inside of the case. And this is very nice aluminum. I was hoping there were mounting screws for that. So I may have to check on Despi's um, website. But the, we will connect the power from here. And we have connectors that will go to the board here. And this here is the USBs there. Okay. So, and all the hardware is in this one. So we got, let's, let's just real quick see what kind of hardware. A nice little screwdriver. A lot of these kits, it's amazing that they give you these little uh, kits. So, one, two, three, four, five, six bags of thermal pads. So, this one is four fix mainboard screws, M3s. Okay. We have six M2 dot screws for CM4s. Now, this is going to be awesome because the board itself came with six as well. Okay. And then these are the screws to put down the heat sinks with the boards. All right. So let's get the, uh, the board in there. All right, and I'm sorry for the weird angle, and I am going to turn the light back on. We won't do the bright light, bright white. We'll do this cool color. And it's so I can see. So I'm going to pull this out of the way. And I'm going to lift these up. Okay, I'll hold those like that. So, back of the board. Goes like that. And then we'll get that out of the way. And then... There we go. Now I'm going to put the use those four screws right here. Okay? And we're going to tighten it down. So I'm not going to use their screwdriver. I'm going to use This one, I got in another little kit, but I just like the feel of it. Plus, whoops, it has a little bit of a magnetic charge. Which helps when you have uh, fat fingers like I do. Because then that little bit of magnetic charge will hold it into place. And I'm going to have one screw left over, so that's good. Okay. Looks good on the back. Our LEDs are nice, nice and flush in there. Everything's lined up. It, it, it's very nice how engineered they got this. So this now, this is going to be the fun part. So here's the book. Heat 
sync, fix, okay, repeat three times, okay. I'm going to, to skip that part, but I kind of feel like a Kia here for a second. So this is talking about this connector, and apparently it goes back here. So I'm going to turn that like that. It might be a little bit hard to see because of the lights, but there is one block that's filled in. And on this board here, there is one pin missing. So that means it's going to go like this. Okay, and I'm going to push it up underneath there for aesthetics, okay? So right there, okay. Now following along, we're going to connect the uh, fans. And these are the white ones here. And there's three of them, and it really doesn't show an order, okay? There's one, two, three. So, I'm going to take this shortest one, put it up front. This is the longest one. We'll put it towards the one in the back. And this is the medium length one, which we will loop around. And we will connect to there. And again, I'm going to push that up underneath there so it looks nice. Okay? Now, the next thing following our documentation, so, is, all right, we're going to connect the power switch extenders here to the JD, um, J18 cables, which are right here, okay? And it says, please pay attention to the labels on the jump wires. Okay. So, connect power LED. And it looks like... Right, power LED is this one. And it looks like it goes to the front. And I'm going to twist these little connectors so that they're aligned. And again, based on the drawing, so those will go closest to the fan. Okay, those are connected. Next, we're going to do the power switch. And the power switch goes next to it, and it's this yellow and white, and it's showing that the white, so hold on. Okay, so the white goes next to the black and red cable, so right there. Okay, and then the last is going to be this white and green, which is the reset button. That goes next to the power switch. And uh, we'll pull this one out first. Let's see where it's supposed to go. There we go. And then... There we go. Okay. And if I got... I'm going to check the drawing real quick just to make sure. So, red-black, red-black, white-yellow, white-yellow, white green, white green, and it 
so it's hard to see, but these two pins, there's nothing on it, and those two pins are nothing on it. So that looks good. Okay. And then that's pretty much it. So I'm going to leave this open. Now, I want to show you guys real quick to put in our storage. There's this metal plate at the bottom. And again, this case is really nice. Now, UC Tronics is the only other um, kind of rack light case I've messed with. Um, UE2, you know, they're Pacific ones for, um, for their cases is pretty good. So, okay. Easy access. All right. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to pause the camera because I need to go get my CM4s, okay? So Okay. So I have here my Banana Pie CM4 and it has the same connectors as the Raspberry uh, Pi CM4 and this <laughs> does work with um, you know Raspberry Pi I.O. boards. I've tested it with, well I tested it with the WaveShare board okay and it, it does work. So here this is make sure it's up and running this is a CM4, has no Wi-Fi, this has Wi-Fi, it has 32 gigs of EMC, and it's a 4 gig, and this is a 4 gig, so. <laughs> and as you can see, they're pretty much the same size, but just to make sure this is up and running, I'm going to take this okay, and I'm going to place it here to start off with this one. Now I'm going to take off these little holders okay, so that I can get some heat sinks on this because we want it to perform well. Now these heat sinks, I'm going to be fair warning to you guys. So there are antenna connectors here and if you plus if you look at the layout okay these heat sinks have thermal pads that will connect pretty much like that. So I can use these with no problems. With the um, Banana Pie CM4s, okay, because of these connectors and the way the chips are set, okay, now I had it right the first time. Well, actually, it'll sit on there, but it won't make connections. Okay, so let me get this onto the board, and let me get an OS uh, on a flash card, because we'll put it, okay, for one. And these are labeled on the bottom, okay. So it'll go here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So I'm going to get one into it just to make sure it properly boots up. We'll put another CM4 here, Raspberry Pi. Actually, we'll pull this one off first. So we're going to boot up with the Raspberry Pi first. Then we're going to try the CM4 
and see if it'll boot up. Okay? So we're going to stop it here for now, but we'll come back. Okay, I'm glad I have this WaveShare board. The EMC uh, storage on these Raspberry Pis, the uh, BIOS is more or less configured to run off of those, but if you don't have an OS, you can use the, uh, like a USB stick, okay, and what I did was I installed, um, Raspberry OS, full desktop, and it comes with Imager, and I just got it done, whoops, just got it done writing to the EMC, okay, so we will boot up from that here shortly. Now, the other thing I'm going to try before that, though, is that's my Banana Pie CM4, and on the bottom I have a SD card. I know it'll boot from the SD because the IO board right there that came with it, they're real good about booting up from that. Alright, so let's continue. Okay, so I'm going to log into the Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to ping the other board. And look at that. I know for a fact that's my banana pie. And this to show you. And then here in a second, we're going to see the nice RBM logo. Look at that. Okay, so I'm, it's going to be rocky here for a second. So, yeah. All right. So the game plan now is I'm going to put another Raspberry Pi there. And I'm going to put another Banana Pi there. And then the only thing right now is I don't have um, any NVMe storage. So I'm going to get this up and running just with local stuff until I can afford, uh, afford some uh, NVMe's. But guys, this is, this is pretty nice, okay? We're... Using the uh, Super 6, and we're using two different manufacturers, um, you know, CM4s, okay? All right, let's finish this out. So, we're about to power it back on, and this is the Raspberry, whoops, this is the Raspberry CM4. Okay, and this is the Banana Pi CM4. So, I used my uh, I.O. board. And what's strange is, the Banana Pi, because I've I got a video, it shows it, works with this WaveShare I.O. board, no problem at all. Okay? So, because now we're in two, I got the card there, and... Um, it is uh, set up already, so it's got a username and password. And I should be able to find it because this board I have in DHCP with a sticky IP. And for those of you who don't know what that means, you take the MAC address, you put it into your router, and every time it boots up, it has that IP. And I did that so I could find it. And it was up and running. So 
the problem is because it didn't initialize the video I couldn't finish setting it up so this is, has Raspberry Pi OS on it this has Armbian's OS on it they don't make Raspberry uh, Pi OS for the CM4 um, let me let me restate that they don't make Raspberry Pi OS for the Banana Pi CM4. So, okay, I'm going to power on our mixed fruit. And we should have some uh, activities. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And as you can see, LED lights for both of them is going off. And it looks good. So, all right. I'm going to stop for a second because I want to, again, I'm shooting this one all with my phone. So I'm going to point it towards my uh monitor here in a second okay I'm putting on the heat sinks and the like I stated earlier these will work looks like it'll work on top of it the only thing is I can't use the uh, wireless but that's no biggie because um, there's no need and by the way these back here if I was using wireless I could definitely uh, hook them up back there but yeah I'm gonna use the heat sinks for now now this one already had heat sinks on it this is the one I was testing earlier and yeah, those are beautiful copper heat sinks. So I'm just going to leave those there. Now, the one thing, the Broadcom CPU, as you can see there, is much higher. And the thermo pads that they uh, give are pretty good. So this blue thermo pad I cut out of a uh, thermo pad that I bought from. Uh, Altree, and it's their thickest one, I think. Hold on, I'm gonna get the package real quick. Because they give you like, whoops, sorry, don't mean to go all over the place. That is their 2.0 millimeter. So I, I'm doing that because the chip on the Banana Pie CM4 is, again, it's not very high. So I do want it to make uh, contact with this, okay? So that thicker pad should reach it. All right, I'm gonna continue and get these on there and get the lid back on. Okay guys, pretty excited. I got the lid on, it looks beautiful. I have to agree with Despi that transparent uh, lid makes it very beautiful. Look at those. Uh, LEDs twinkling in here and just a reminder to everybody okay so we have if we can get a good shot there we go raspberry pi banana pie raspberry pie and banana pie I thought about this up here the one with the blue light that's actually a um, orange pie CM4 thought about sticking it in there to see if it works, but Orange Pie has 124 I.O. pins, 50-50 uh, and 24, so uh, didn't want to risk it, but anyway, it's there. I am going to install an NVMe so that that way I can uh, have some space and I'm going to set up uh, Docker Swarm. And then uh, we're going to go from there. And then I'm going to do another video later about when I get uh, Kubernetes set up on that. Cause, but for now, I want to get this ready for the show. So I'm only going to use Docker Swarm. It's pr 
probably the simplest way to get things set up. Okay? That's going to be it for this video. This is Terror Pup. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. Please like, uh, you know, the video. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. And uh, please share it with your friends. I'm, I'm here to give back to the open source community. And doing things like this is my way of sharing with you guys. Until next time, peace.